NHL jerseys, big part of my channel. We know this. This is one of the things that uh, that we know. <laughs> that's where most of you are from. If you can't tell, I'm sick right now. And that's not that fun. I am, yeah, no, I got sick. I don't know how. I don't know why. I'm sick. But I did get a question on one of my videos asking how I make the logos. I do not know. I do not remember which video. I just know a video. We're here at NHL 23 in the create zone, so we have to go to create a team. Now, sadly, I'm not going to be able to save any teams. I don't know what's going on with the saving teams, but it just doesn't want to work. So, when you come into the create a team, you have your team info, you have logos, branding, team uniform, arena, mascot, roster, save. Go to logos and branding. First thing you want to do is select your team colors. Now this 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 team is gonna be based off of that's not what I want to do. My good friend Nick Rick Games. Because why not? So we're gonna do red. His channel colors will do red. We're gonna do white, and we are also going to do black. Now, if I get suggested another team that is in red, black, and white, I'm going to scream. Why? Because I swear everyone wants red, black, and white. So what you want to do is you want to select the primary logo to start out with. Now, find a logo that matches. Now, with Dobby, he's kind of confusing. So if you're doing something like a bear, you could do this. The best place to start if you want to find a team that is not already created is the custom logos. You never know what you can find or something that will pull up like it. So, you have a dragon, a ninja, uh, a goblin, a tiger, a snake. You got a wilderness explorer. You have all these, right? All these different choices, all these different picks. You got a, a knight chess piece. You have a knight knight. You have the EA Sports logo for whatever reason. You have a pirate ship. You have a pirate. You have this. I still don't know what it is. You have these options. And these options can be used. All of them can be used in one sense or another. But this is kind of the difficult part of choosing what makes sense. So if you have something like the Nick Rick Games... Dom, his logo is kind of just a game controller. Now, I don't know if there is a game controller, right? I think there is. Which is kind of the... I think there is. I swear, there was one. There it is. So, if you're doing something like my last video, which was Nasher, uh, finding something that works is the, the difficult part. But something like this, where it kind of works, and it, in all reality, kind of looks like his logo already, Sure. But if you cannot find anything, then you can go and you can check the ECHL logos. A lot of times they might not work, but you can do something like this for like M Trident or like the Deers or I don't know. If you do a Cyclone, but you don't do Cincinnati, sure. Or you do like horses or an R or a lion or another lion or you want to do a French team or whatever this is or a bear like a lot of times you can get around it but something where it's a like text like the savannah ghost pirates that's kind of hard to get around and you got the vintage logos so a lot of times if i don't know what to use i'll use the the, the arizona circle it looks fine enough then if you this is kind of something that i never understood is the adidas hockey teams the only one that you can actually use is smh sue st marie that's it <laughs> everything else you can't really use then you got this Belbino. Don't ask me what it is. I have no idea. The custom logos, and then of course the NHL logos, which I probably should have started out with. These are just your, your logos now. Then you come down to the lettering. So you have collegiate font. Then you have a collegiate font that is like thicker around the borders. Then you have like a hand script, which is like an old like pirate pirate script, I like to call it. Then you have a modern looking font then you have a vintage font which is like a like what i actually think of the pittsburgh pirates with the baseball team the one thing that makes me a little upset is not having the ability to put full letters like full words on the jersey and i get it i get why they don't you can put a real a lot of a lot of like inappropriate things on it but at the same time you're getting rid of so many opportunities to make really cool looking jerseys just because it said something bad i mean mlb has it and the nba has it why can't 
you know, this game have it. It seems like EA just doesn't like the ability for create creation. So if you're going to choose, let's say we'll choose Collegic Font 2, which is the thicker outline. Uh, we got plain text, which is just the letter as is. We got an arrow background, which gives it a little like, I forget the word for it. Then you got a banner, then you got like a shield, then you got a circle. I prefer like the shield or like this. So if we go this, you see the app, it all works out. We do this. Then from here, you can customize how you want it to look. So if I don't, what I don't like is this thick outer white line. So I get rid of it, get red, bam, second logo right there. Enough said, easy, done, out of the way. Now the third logo. This one again can kind of just be whatever you want. For me, I might just go with like a, I don't know, outlet. Doesn't really make any sense, but it, it, it works in a lot of the short. We do, I got like a red outline here, it connects it, bam. And now we have our logo. So if you ever needed some ideas when it comes to logos, all reality, look at what you're making, look what you find with it, and see how you can work with it. A lot of times you cannot customize the logos, the only thing you can customize is the colors. Sometimes you can work your magic, so we go back here. Um, let's say I wanted to make Team Canada, which I did, so I, it's my uh, like, recent newest TikTok. I want to make Team Canada, but I want to use the Toronto Maple Leafs logo. What I can do is I can just get rid, color match it. The only downside is if you take it to a logo or take it to a jersey, which we will quickly do. The away because it will show up. If you take it to the jersey, it the, the lettering might show up, but no one's really going to notice that. So there's not really a big worry when it comes to comes to that. A lot of the times too, you can just plop the first logo on there, plop the secondary on the shoulders, and bam, you have your logo. And that's pretty much it. If you want to go back, and let's say you're making the, the team, let's say you don't like the, the background of that logo, and you want to change the background of this logo to a white, and you just don't like how the red looks, guess what you can do? You can change it to a white, you can go back, you can go back to whatever jersey you were working on, see how it looks on all of them. And actually, I don't, I don't mind that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everyone who's watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell all your friends about these videos. Hope that I get unsick soon because I really need to. It's really bothering me right now. And uh, yeah, subscribe, like, comment what you think. How, you, how what you think should be added to the game i might make another one of those what should be added 2024 uh but yeah thank you subscribe and uh what a doubt 10 out